And we're coming to you from World of Concrete 2016 in Las Vegas. And with me now is an old friend, Greg Worley from Caterpillar. How are you? Greg? Hi, very well. Good to see well, you. Well, we're going to be talking mini excavators and specifically a new machine you're bringing into the marketplace on display here on the show floor this year. And that is a 307 E2 fixed room machine. And there's other aspects of this that are also very enlightening. Tell yes. us about it. Certainly is. This is a machine that we're actually bringing in from our facility in China. Uh -huh. uh, we built a greenfield facility in China, Wuzhang, China, to build machines for inside the China market. And now this is the first machine we're exporting from China into North America. We have been exporting the Tier 2 version of this machine to South America for the last year or so. But now we've taken uh, our Tier 3 machine, we put a Tier 4 final engine in it, and now we're bringing it into North America. And specifically, it's interesting because it's, as, as I take it, the first import from China into the United States. Are there any of the configurations of this machine that would make it any different than a machine being exported from here to China? Yeah, I guess, you know, with this machine, it is fixed boom standard tail, a bit like the larger excavators. In the under eight ton mini excavator world, it's all about swing boom and compass radius. Sure. So we're sort of introducing a different element into that. But by taking a model that we're already using and developing in the China market, we really just put that tier four final engine in and brought it to this market as is. And that fills a big gap between the five and a half ton machine and our eight ton machine. Well, the real important factor, other than the fact that it's imported, is the fact that it is a fixed boom tail swing. And that, I know, has been an important concept for many, many contractors over the last few years, particularly those that are getting into spots where they have limited work footprint. Yeah, and with, the, you know, with these smaller machines, you, know, you talk to any customer, you say, what do you want from an excavator? Certainly. And every customer comes back to meet all my criteria as far as dig depth or reach or craning lifting capability in the smallest package possible. That's what our customers want. Now, how does this compare with the uh, other machines in this lineup of mini excavators as far as, as reach and, and, and capacity overall? Yeah. I mean, it, it's a little bit smaller, a little bit sure. lighter than its big brother, the, uh, the 308. Right. But we've designed the machine to look like a 308. So it fits in with the family, looks great. A little bit smaller, a little bit lighter, but it's also a little bit cheaper. So we actually fill a gap physically as, fi as well as financially in that, in that sort of six to eight ton marketplace. Now this new machine also, will it be available and will it, will, will, will it be able and adaptable to other uses and, and, and other attachments? Yeah, sure. Everything that uh, fits on the eight ton machine as okay. far as thumbs, buckets, couplers. Um, we've actually got the new uh, dual lock tilt coupler on the machine here at the show. If it fits the eight ton, it fits the seven ton as well. Oh, that's interesting, it, and, and that it was manufactured to configure with both of these yep. machines. Absolutely. What does this offer the contractor as far as savings of operation? Savings of operation, we've got a 55 horsepower engine in it. We're using the same DOC DPF solution as the 8-ton machine. We've got power on demand on this machine, um, which is automatic fuel saving power when you need it. Um, the capability of what it can do, it's like a big machine and a small footprint with that smaller engine. Uh, it's a very efficient in what it does and, and what it can be. You know, we, we really see this as a real workhorse machine, a lot of machine in a small package. Well, certainly it sounds like it's been engineered to fit into this specific category of machine use between, like you say, the five and a half and the eight ton machines. Yep, absolutely. And, uh, you know, customers are coming up to us today saying, uh, never knew you had this well you don't I mean it, it just it just landed <laughs> we do now. It, it is just here and uh, and then explaining the concept of it or where it fits in it, it's, it's really seeing a lot of people starting to rethink maybe what they were doing whether yeah. you know does my five and a half ton really do everything I want it to do um, does this machine I don't need to go to an eight ton platform on this you know so it's been very thought-provoking of introducing this into the market uh, the people think their long-term strategy of what they need. Well, most well, certainly if you're at the show and you can see the machine here being introduced to, by Greg and his team, or certainly contact your local cat dealer. Live from World of Concrete 2016.